You call yourself a scholar of archaeology? You can't even recognize this or that. What are you good for? We all have our areas of expertise. I already tried very hard to explain. Oh, stop arguing! What? Call yourself a scholar of archaeology? You can't even recognize this or that. What are you good for? We all have our areas of expertise. I already tried very hard to explain. Oh, stop arguing! What in the world happened? This girl just keeps bragging about how she's an archaeologist, but she doesn't even know anything about the surrounding ruins. I even know more than her. She left me to rely solely on guessing, I mean, experience, to find anything valuable to take back. Ugh, what a waste of time. Uh, I've just been researching the God of Salt, so I'm not familiar with sea relics. Is that so strange? And you! You kept asking about how much Mora everything is worth. Can the value of relics only be measured in Mora? I... I mean, isn't measuring their value in Mora the easiest way? Uh, this also matches the traditions of Liyue, does it not? Now, now, calm down. No need to make a fuss. We were able to bring back some intriguing objects. Let's have a look. Oh, what a shame. <sighs> These objects were indeed washed ashore by the Overlord of the Vortex, but they have nothing to do with the god besides being in the vicinity at the time. This stone slab we found, however, has a mysterious pattern and faint aura of divine power. Perhaps it will be useful for research purposes. Quick, give it to me! <laughs> At least we didn't come for nothing. The power of the gods, yes! This is good. <laughs> oh, but these other objects are certainly worth a little something, right? It should be enough to cover the cost of hiring you. It's all mine. So, it's only valuable for research if there are remnants of divine power on it? Not at all. My quest to uncover the history of the God of Salt is because history can tell us about culture and beliefs. But you? You're just trying to use archaeology to get rich! Nonsense! I'm a professional archaeology researcher from Snezhnaya. I swear. If I'm lying, may the Lord of Geo strike me down! Oh, by the way. You probably don't want to sell that teacup. Oh? Why's that? That's not an ancient teacup. It's part of Ningguang's collection. It must have fallen here along with the Jade Chamber. So unless you want to mess with the Qi Sing... Ah, I see. Uh, what a shame. It was of such high quality, too. <laughs> see? You do want to sell these objects! But, uh, so what? Why can't I pursue wealth both intellectual and material? Don't be so simple-minded. <sighs> All right, then. No need to stay here any longer. Hmm. I'm rather quite intrigued by the God of Salt, too, actually. Let's go to Sal Terai next.
Oh, so sorry. Freeze. Dodge this. Dodge this. Don't get frostbite. Freeze! Back off! For a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. Surrender and I'll be gentle. Yep. Yep. Come a little closer. You're in for a little sh Eyes on me! Take this! If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Freeze! This moment will be frozen in time. Freeze! Ah! 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 Dodge this! Ah! 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 Cool it! Ah! 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 Look. 
Come a little closer. <laughs> Surrendering will be gentle. You're in for a little shock. Just what will we come across this time? Don't disappoint me.
I heard that Salturai was once the home of the God of Salt's people, therefore... <laughs> According to legend, the people of the God of Salt, Havria, enjoyed prosperous lives under her protection. But this legend has been around for ages. Oh, that's just great. About that, I know there's a ruin deep in this cave here. It's related to the God of Salt, which is actually how the area originally got its name of Salturai. However, the ruin entrance has been sealed by a mysterious power. I found a mechanism that seemed to be related to the seal, but... So at the moment, the seal's origin and how to break it are very important topics in my research on the God of Salt. I don't know. There's no concrete evidence. The God of Salt was a benevolent god, so... The one who wants to hide some truth is very possibly her killer, Morax. This doesn't sound like something the Lord of Geo would do, though. Who cares about all that? You weren't listening at all, were you? Ah, but we have the illustrious Mr. Zhang Li with us. This seal seems to be quite ancient. I may know something about it. Wh what Over the years, I've heard various rumors with bits of knowledge about seals. Let's go take a look at the mechanism Miss Wanyan just mentioned. Okay, since Mr. Zhongli says so, follow me then. Here it is. There's some debris scattered here that, when put together, look like they definitely had to do with the God of Salt. According to the inscription on this side, if one looks from a certain angle, the secret to the mechanism will be revealed. See that? Although we activated the mechanism, nothing happened to the seal. That's because there's actually another mechanism that must be activated. Uh, another? Let me lead the way from here. This place seems familiar. Huh, I remember. I think there's some elemental monuments here. So you're saying they're related to all this? When I investigated the seal last time, I had someone with a vision accompany me. But when we lit up all the elemental monuments, nothing happened. That's because you don't just need to activate them at the same time. The secret to this puzzle is hidden in the legends about the Archon War. Tianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. All desolate and devoid of life. To the north, to the east, do the people of Liyue always talk in riddles? I, I think I've heard this saying before. Certainly you have, to provide a haven for her people. At that time, and that haven she eventually found is right here. How sad then. Okay, enough with these ancient stories. Tianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. With this clue, you should be able to solve the puzzle. Submit! Don't waste my time. Give up.
Watch this! Ha! Wind blade! Here, let me help you. Weiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. The directions are the... Give it another try. Leave it to me! No one escapes my sight! You can't keep up with me! You're in for a little shock. Blitz. Look! The seal really was broken! Mr. Zhongli is indeed quite remarkable. It was nothing, really. Now, it's time that people learn the hidden truth lost to time.
Before entering the ruin, I have a proposal that will help us prevent the kind of senseless arguing between you two that we saw at Guyanstone Forest. Okay. What is it? I propose you two agree upon a contract, stipulating that we alternate who gets claim to each treasure we encounter, with only one object permitted per claim. To show my sincerity, I won't be taking any treasure. This will just be between you all. Hey! Go past- I don't agree. I mean, you want me to split the treasure with this amateur archaeologist? I don't agree either. <laughs> well then, if the contract is not agreed upon, I will no longer serve as your consultant on this expedition. You will have to rely on your own experience to find whatever treasures are hidden in this ruin, as well as traps. You- you- you have the audacity to demand this! <sighs> okay then, even ha If you want me to agree upon this contract, so be it. I just have one request, Mr. Zhongli. If we discover the truth behind the God of Salt, you must judge it fairly. I can accept this arrangement. Well then, let's go. Come with me.
They were probably followers of the God of Salt. How did they become this way? What in the world is hidden deep in this ruin? Stabilize! Look at this! It's filled halfway with salt! Uh, it just looks like a fancy salt holder. Seems like the god of salt was a god lacking in treasures. According to my knowledge, it's no ordinary vessel. Although it is only half full. What? You're saying that even if I pour the salt out, the amount inside won't change? Exactly. Able to produce endless salt. The god of salt is powerful indeed. Finally, after all that effort, I've found precious treasure. I claim this is mine. I just need to pour the endless salt into a thousand or ten thousand bags. I can sell it and make a fortune! Hey! How can you use a relic of the God of Salt for such a shallow pursuit? If Mr. Clement wants this salt chalice, then the next object we find will belong to Miss Wanyan, according to the contract agreed upon. Of course, as we agreed. <laughs> Since we have a contract, it's no use for me to fight with him. Then let's move on, shall we? Ha! 
just a simple ruler. This, if I remember correctly, this is some kind of measuring tool. Indeed. But the god of salt imbued it with another power. When you stick this ruler in the ground, the surrounding area will become covered in salt. The deeper it is stuck in the ground, the more salt will appear. What? That, that's even better than the salt chalice! Well then, according to our contract... No! Unacceptable! I... And this girl has been useless! Oh boy! Here we go again! So you are saying you want to break the contract? So what if I break it? Now that I've seen how the mechanisms in this ruin work, I no longer need you! Let's not forget who hired who here! Why should I... Because you agreed to a contract. Rex Lapis once said, Ones who break their contracts shall suffer the wrath of the rock. That is one of your Liyue gods. I am from Snezhnaya. We'll suffer the wrath of the rock. You may find it rather unpleasant. Pay your dues. Cut. Yeah. I shall confiscate your treasure as well. You are not worthy to continue any further into the ruin. Leave this place. Oh, darn you! Just you wait! <laughs> Some archaeological survey? He could only pretend for so long. Yeah! Good thing Paimon can smell a liar from a mile away! Clement's wrongdoing stemmed from greed, yes. When people see the object of their dreams, how many are really able to control their desire and follow the contract? I think we should be honest with each other now. Huh? Be honest about what? That in truth, not a single me- Why do you say that? Miss, you lack even the most basic archaeological knowledge and can recognize naught but a few simple relics. However, you are an expert when it comes to anything regarding the God of Salt. You aren't interested in archaeology or relics. What you're really interested in is the God of Salt. I believe those legends about the God of Salt that you mentioned on the Pearl Galley are passed down between generations at Yinyuan Hall. Okay, that's enough. Sir, you are indeed a man of great knowledge and talents. I seem to have been right to seek you out once I plucked up my courage. You're right. I'm not a scholar of archaeology. I come from one of the eight trades under the jurisdiction of the Qi Sing, Yinyuan Hall of the Salt Industry. Our ancestors were those protected by the God of Salt all those years ago, when the Archon War engulfed the land in chaos. It, the people of Lia very seldom use the name Morax. During the war, Morax assassinated our god out of envy for her power. 
He left us alone and lost in the world. We... we hate him! But this is Morax's Liyue after all. And its history is written as he wishes. So I seek proof of Morax's guilt. He has blood on his hands and cruelty in his heart! <sighs> we agreed to a contract that we will face the truth head on, didn't we, Mr. Zhongli? You must judge this history fairly. Naturally, of course. Come with me. All the answers you seek lie ahead. for a little shock. much greater than that of the Salt Chalice and Salt Ruler. If we can repair the sword, then we can show the world the mighty power of the God of Salt. Mm. It does look like something left behind after being defeated. Two pieces of a broken sword. W why? We were alternating claims to treasure, true. But Clement is no longer here. Yes. But the only one object per claim clause still holds true. You cannot take two relics at the same time. This logic! Um, Zhang Li When there's a contract, nothing can be allowed to slide. No! If I only take one half, then it can't be repaired, and the power of the God of Salt cannot be restored, no matter what. 
I must be faithful to her. Even if it breaks the contract, I don't care. So you are already decided? Hmm. Then there is a price to pay for breaking the contract. Shang Li! That is to say, you consign yourself to suffer the wrath of the rock. That... that's okay. The God of Salt gave up her life to protect her people. My sacrifice is nothing compared to that. Punish me however you want. Just let me take this proof of my faith. No, you can't hit her! Perhaps that punishment would be easier for her. But, as punishment, I will tell you the truth. Huh? The truth? You mean the truth is my punishment? Yes. The truth that I am about to tell you shall be your price to pay for breaking the contract. I'm afraid to say that the God of Salt, Havria, was not the powerful god you imagine her to be. Rather, she was a small and weak god who yielded to all other gods. When it came to war, she lost, never able to win a seat among the Seven. What? During the Archon War, the gods of this world used all their strength and cunning to vie for control of Tevat. But Havria instead chose to flee. She thought that by giving up before a fight could start, she could save herself and her people from the war. However, during such a long war, there is no end to the advances of aggressors. After making countless concessions, Havria lost all of her lands, until only one small haven remained. No. No! It can't be so. In her last days, she had not even a single blade to defend her people with. Not even a single blade? Then... this sword... This sword is not a relic belonging to the God of Salt, but is instead the murder weapon used to kill her. Murder weapon? No! That's not true! That can't be true! You're trying to test my faith in the God of Salt. As I said before, I only state the facts. Preposterous! You, you are a follower of Morax. Don't try to trick me! Hey! Hey! Come back! It is a punishment after all. I did not want to tell her such cruel facts. But the contract was broken. Let's follow her deeper into the ruin. There, I fear, we will find something that will leave her no choice but to face the truth. Since you do not trust me, let us continue onward. That which lies beyond this door will show you all that happened back then. <laughs> <laughs> 